You know, we're a nation that believes in the Second Amendment, and I believe in the Second Amendment. You know, we've got a long tradition of, of hunting and sportsmen uh, and people who want to make sure they can protect themselves. There have been too many instances during the course of my presidency where I've had to comfort families who've lost somebody, most recently out in Aurora. You know, just uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago, actually probably about a month, uh, I saw a mother who I had met at the bedside of her son who had been shot in that theater. And her son had been shot through the head. And we spent some time and we said a prayer. And remarkably, about two months later, this young man and his mom showed up and he looked unbelievable, good as new. But there were a lot of families who didn't have that good fortune and whose sons or daughters or husbands didn't survive. And so what can we do to intervene to make sure that young people have opportunity, that our schools are working, that if there's violence on the streets, we can catch it before it gets out of control. And so what I want is a, is a comprehensive strategy. Part of it is seeing if we can get automatic weapons that kill folks in amazing numbers out of the hands of criminals and the mentally ill. But part of it is also going deeper and seeing if we can get into these communities and making sure we catch violent impulses before they occur.